All right, if you look at the front of the page, is there a problem that you don't feel comfortable with that you would like to do together? Now, you need a pencil today. Why do you need a pencil? Because you're going to erase some stuff. So you need a pencil. If you don't have one, borrow. No, because you have to erase part of it. Did you watch the video? Yeah, I did. Okay. Because we all are going to erase part of it. So we all have a calculator. We are going to do number four. Now, number four, the first one is what type of equation? linear. This is linear. It is y equals mx plus b. So if I rewrite this off to the side, I have negative 1 over 1 x plus 2. So where do I start? Okay. Down one, right one, down one, right one, down one, right one. Is it a gift? Oh. Yeah, it's some of our parents. Oh, is that from the office or something? Yes. All right. Um, you guys want to come up and grab the assignment? Who are you? Who are you? Mm -hmm. All right. So. We started at 2, we went down 1, over 1. We're going to go ahead and very lightly draw that line. And then what do I do from here? Not greater than or equal to. Less than or equal to. So we're going to find the place on the line where the x coordinate is 4 and we're going to draw a circle around it. Do I fill that circle in or do I leave it open? I fill it in because it says equal to. Fill it in because it says equal to. And then it says x is less than or equal to 4. So 3... 2, 1, 0, those are all the points that work. And so which direction should I draw the line? To the Yeah, up and to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this. Now, any problem that's written like that where it has just the X, so not one of the sandwich ones like I did on the video, but one of the ones that just looks like this, the arrow points to the left. Do you guys see that? And our arrow also points to the left. Look how nice that is. All right, so we made that part dark. We're going to go ahead and erase the rest. And now for the other part, the parabola, we're going to go ahead and graph that in our calculators. And somebody tell me, what is the vertex of this parabola? Yep, right 4, which would make it 4, 0. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly plot the point 4, 0. And then when I graph this in my calculator, I'm going to hit second graph, and I'm going to look for the point 4, 0. Why am I looking for the point 4, 0? It's the middle. It's right in the middle of everything. Okay, so I've got 4, 0, 3, 1, and 5, 1. And then I've got 2, 4, and 6, 4. And I've got 1, 9. I guess I could do 1, 9. 1, 9, and 7, 9. That goes off the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly draw that U shape.
And then what do I do? So I look for where the x coordinate is 4 exactly, which happens to be that vertex. Do I fill in that circle? No, because this does not say equal, so it should not be a filled in circle. Okay. And then I'm going to look for the x values that are bigger than 4, so x value of 5, x value of 6. And so what part am I making dark? the right side, and I can also tell that because the arrow goes to the right. So right here, the arrow goes to the right. And so in my picture, the arrow goes to the right. And then what do I do with the rest of it? I erase. Okay, how do I check the answer on my calculator? I have to graph both of them, right? So I'm going to do negative x plus 2, and then what do I type? Anyone remember from the video? I do a slash, so I do a divide symbol, slash. And I do a parenthesis, and then what am I supposed to type? Not the x minus 4 squared. I have to tell the calculator to do everything to the left of 4. Yeah, so I'm going to put x, and then I'm going to hit second math. Less than or equal to 4. So that's how you type a piecewise function when you're saying use this piece and only do it for x is less than or equal to 4. Do we all type that? Okay. Second line, we're going to do x minus 4 squared. And then the slash. And then we've got our parenthesis and the x. And how do I get the greater than symbol? Second math greater than four. Okay, so when you graph it, it should look like what you have on your paper. Does it look like what we have? Well, we did it right. Marvelous. Okay, shall we try one more or are you ready? Ready? Okay, so go ahead and work on these. When we get to a problem like number two, we just have y equals three. That's it. No slope, no y-intercept. What does it mean when it says y equals three? It's a straight line. It has a y-coordinate of three always. So if you have the point 0, that's 0, 3. 4, 3. 6, 3. 8, 3. Negative 2, 3. Negative 7, 3. So what kind of line does it make? It's a horizontal line. So anytime you have those problems where you have a number and that's all it is, is just a plain number, those are horizontal lines. So you have a horizontal line here at negative 6. If we jump down to problem number five, we're going to have a horizontal line in that problem as well. Okay? All right. Go ahead and work on those. You can check your answer on your calculator. You can also check it on the wall. The answers are up there, too. Because it's a weird one, right? Okay. So looking at number 10, let's go ahead and find the first one. What's the vertex of the first one? Zero, one. So I'm going to graph this on my calculator. Math, go over to number, choose the absolute value. And then on the table, I'm going to look for the point 0, 1, because that's the middle. And I'm going to start off by graphing the middle, and I'm going to graph some of the other points. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got 0, 1, negative 1, 2, 
positive 1, 2, negative 2, 3, positive 2, 3, negative 3, 4, positive 3, 4, and then I can kind of see what the pattern is doing. So I should see lots of people drawing this right now. And then what, what do I have to find right now? I have to find negative three. You're good. So I find negative three and I circle it. Do I fill it in or not fill it in? Fill it in. Does it set equal to? And which side am I keeping? The left side. So I'm going to make it dark on the left and keep that side. And then I'm going to erase the rest. Anybody running out of an eraser today? Okay. Uh, where is the vertex of the next one? Negative two, zero. And technically it's a locator point, but if you call it a vertex, I won't be mad. Okay, negative two, zero. So I'm going to go ahead and graph that one. Square root x plus two. And on my table, I'm going to look for negative 2, 0, and that's right in the middle. So negative 2, 0, then I've got negative 1, 1, then I've got some decimals that I'm going to skip. I don't want to graph the decimals, so I'm not going to. Then I have 2, 2, then I've got some more decimals I'm going to skip, then I've got 7, 3. And I'll go ahead and lightly draw this. And what am I supposed to be looking for? Negative 3. Do you find negative 3? No. Um, so it says I'm supposed to look for negative 3, and then I'm supposed to keep everything to the right. Negative 3 is over here. I'm keeping everything to the right. Do I have to erase anything? No. I just say keep it all. And then it's interesting because the graph doesn't have anything at negative 3 for that, but it's fine because we would have had to erase anything to the left of it anyway. So you just leave it. You don't have to do anything at the negative 3 for that one. That's a weird case. What a great bonus question. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Okay. All right. um, we have nine minutes left. Tell me, how far are we? 10, 11, 12, 7, 56 is not an answer. 10, 11. Okay, I'm going to say you have to do the front page and the back page completely. Okay, let's go ahead and flip the page. I'm going to show you how to do the extra credit. Oh. Oh. Okay, so there are only four extra credit problems. There is a picture of a piecewise function. And then you are choosing which multiple choice answer is correct. Okay. So what I typically do first is I look at all the equations and I see if there's anything that's different. You guys see that? All these equations are all exactly the same. That means they're not going to help us. So now I need to look over here at the X values they gave me. And I can see that's the difference. These use 1 and 3, 3 and 7. These use negative 8, 8 and 4, 8. Can you tell which one's wrong? C and D are wrong. They're accidentally using the Y coordinates instead of the X coordinates. Because if I look at the X coordinates, I've got from negative 1 to 3, from 3 to 7. So they accidentally did the Y coordinates. That means this one is wrong and this one is wrong. Now I'm going to compare and see what's different between the first two. So this one says negative 1 to 3, negative 1 to 3. Do you guys notice what's different about these? The numbers are the same, but what's different? Yeah, they're telling you which one's filled in, which one's not filled in. So this one tells you negative 1 is not filled in, but 3 is filled in. 
This one is telling you negative one is filled in, three is not filled in. What's true? Negative one is filled in, three is not filled in. So what's the correct answer? B. And then we can just verify that the other part of it was true as well. This part says three is not filled in, seven is not filled in. See how it matches? This one up here is like double wrong because they said three is filled in for this one and three is filled in for that one, which we can't do. We can't fill in three twice, then it's not a function. It also said seven was filled in, which was also wrong. Okay, so that's how the multiple choice works. You kind of narrow it down based on what you know is true or not true. So if you look at number two, you can see that the equations are a little different. Do you guys notice that? Plus six here, minus six there. So that's gonna help you because one of the equations says the graph has been shifted to the left six. The other says the graph has been shifted to the right six. And you can look and you can see which one it's doing. So which one is number two doing, the absolute value graph? The V-shaped graph, is it shifted to the right or is it shifted to the left? It's shifted to the right. So what should be inside the equation? Minus six. So it cannot be A and it cannot be C. That's all the hints I'm going to give you. Okay? So first page front and back is the actual classwork assignment. Second page front and back is extra credit. There is a video tonight, so I'm going to give you the notes.